because mesh was here, there's normally a lot of cleaning to do the next day. I get all the garbage out. I mop Fletcher Hall really good. I sweep and mop the kitchen. Normally I clean the refrigerator out because there's normally a lot of stuff in here. So I put a note up. I don't think people read it though. Like, whatever. <laughs> I knew in coming here, my family, when they found out what I was doing, was not gonna be happy. They really thought that this was beneath me. I'm gonna be honest, I did feel that the first like month, like what am I doing? Why am I cleaning people's toilets? Like, you know, but once I got over that, like it, it didn't bother me anymore. It was like, so what, just do it. How is having an income beneath anyone? I get up every morning and I look forward to coming here now. When I go in that sanctuary, I'm amazed. I feel like this is where I'm supposed to be and this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And I don't feel like it's meaningless work. It's not. When I really got to understand what made this place so special, it was that everyone was welcome. That blew my mind. All of the principles and the things that this place stands for, I didn't have before I got here. I was raised different. My son came out to me. And being here allowed me to be open to that. I had to let go of my expectations for my son's life. What I thought he should be and what I thought he should do. Being part of this place here allowed me to do that. When someone comes to your home, you want your home to be beautiful. This place is special and someone's got to take care of it. I feel honored that it's me. It allows people to come here and create amazing memories. My name is Dawn Coleman, lead custodian here at UUCM.
I love, absolutely love that everyone is welcome. So um, I hadn't worked in about a year and a half. Um, I had been to the hospital a couple of times, um, almost stroked out from my job, so I left. And I didn't have a plan. I just knew that I couldn't do that anymore, right? And my money was getting short, and I was like, oh, no. I was like, I need a job, and I just... Doesn't have to be anything fancy. I just need to have like some income coming in. After being like in the corporate world for like 30 years, about 25 years, right? I used to own barbershops um, in Atlanta. Wow. Um, I did collections over 20 years. Um, I was totally just burnt out though. I think it just came down to totally being done with all of it. And um, I just needed a change. I needed an income. I didn't have any income. And I could have gone back into the corporate world very easily, but I, I didn't want to. I needed a change. Um, I was raised Muslim, and that is a no-no. And so coming here and understanding that um, people just need to be themselves, man. You, you just don't have the right to tell someone to be who you want them to be. You know, I I get emotional when I talk about my son. I adore him. He is married to a man, a Jewish man. It's like, wow, wow. <laughs> I really do believe that God placed me here because he knew that I And he wanted to, he wanted to put me in a place that it would be okay to talk about it in a special, different way. It was everything. I'm happy that my son's happy. But I don't want to cry. I just love, I love this place. This, this place has captured my heart. I've been, I've been blessed. I get a lot of love around here. It's, it's good for me. This is like my surrogate home. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go back to being in collections.